Hello and welcome to the Real Estate Marketing Podcast. This is Adam Small and with me is Doug Carr. Hello, sir. How you doing today, Doug? I am unbelievably good. I believe the unbelievably, but then you kind of trailed off on the good, <laughs> like you weren't really sure that you could have gone with angry or... No, no, no angry. No. Okay. I'm good. a gentle giant. I see. <laughs> Oh, so um, another real estate marketing podcast today. And lately, one of the things I've seen a lot of agents working on using, trying to use is uh, Facebook Live. Yes. Uh, great tool, great opportunity, I think. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of different things you could do with Facebook Live. So um, wanted to talk about that. Uh, see what your thoughts on Facebook Live are to begin with, I suppose. I, I love it. I, I, um, I struggle with it personally. Um, because, uh, you know, I'm, I, I really like high quality. And, and so if you really want to do Facebook Live and be a professional, and, and for everybody listening, I have an agency. So the expectation for everybody is that if I do something, it's going to be done perfect. Right, right, right. And so, you know, setting up like lighting and sound and, you know, and having it in the right place and making sure that I have a good strategy and everything else it's a lot of work and so i tend to shy away from it um just when because I, of the amount of work that you just put be, into yeah it. just because of the amount of work that i but that but i watch people every single day i watch facebook lives every day where people are doing a great job right and they're not putting all that they're work not, and effort into it no. some of them are just using the uh, camera on the back of their phone yep uh in order to, to do it and and it looks great sounds great right yeah because really the intent of it is um immediacy and and in the here and now of getting a, a certain message out right yeah i mean you can you can use it for that type of thing you know like if you had a um, some kind of event that was happening and you wanted to give people a um, you know, so it's like that private, what do, what do they call it? The concert, the backstage pass, right? You know, right, right. And so you have this marketing that you're doing out on your site and everything else and email and stuff. And it's all, you know, uh, curated and written well and everything else. But, you know, Facebook live gives you an opportunity for someone to get a glimpse into your personal life or your, or the events that you're going to or whatever that, right, right, that aren't right. there. The other half is people do do a great job of using it almost like a podcast where they schedule a Facebook live mm -hmm. on a weekly basis or whatever. And they're building momentum and building followers and everything else. And, uh, and that's pretty, that's pretty cool too. Right. Uh, so one of the ways that I've seen it used, uh, fairly effectively, uh, from a real estate perspective is with open houses, right? So in, instead of it being an actual open house, the agent will walk through with the camera in their hand and talk about each room like they would if they were escorting somebody through an open house, you know? Yeah. Um, so, and that can be very done, done very effectively as long as the uh, agent makes sure to just follow some of the basic tenets that you would do when, like when you're taking virtual tour pictures or something, you know, put the toilet seat down, make sure the mirrors are clean, make sure the rooms are clean, you, yeah. you know, that sort of thing. Um, I've, I've seen some really great walkthroughs and I've seen some pretty poor ones too. So they do require a little bit of forethought when you're, you're going uh, through yeah. them uh, I, just to make sure that you're laid out right. You know, you're, you, you probably see this. The, I think the biggest mistake that I see a lot of people do is they go, oh, I'm going to do a Facebook Live and they pop up Facebook Live and they go live and they go, hey, hey guys. Uh, 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 and they have no idea what they're going to say or do. Right? Or they spend 15 minutes doing something that could take 30 seconds. Right, like, right, I'm right. Sure, I'm sure the great virtual tours are, you know, the agent, she's already, or he has already thought about how they're going to map out the house, what direction they're, they're going to do, what views are the best. Right. And then, well, and, and and they then, only provide enough to get somebody interested. Right. So that somebody will come out and have a look. They don't point out, you know, the, the hole in the roof over here, or the fact that there's a little bit of mold in the corner or the basement. You know, right. stuff like that. They want to get somebody out there to look at the house because somebody may look at the house and then go, yeah, you know, I don't mind that hole in the roof. That's easy fix or throw a little bleach on that mold in the basement and we're good to go, you know? Yeah. So um, so they do require some thought and planning. Uh, making I agree. sure that you're, you're addressing the things that you want to address and that you're uh, getting the points across without, you know, bumbling through it and taking 15 minutes to say something that could only take 30 seconds. Because what happens with me is the people that I – no, and there are people that I like online 
but when I watch two or three of their videos and five minutes into each of them, I still don't know why they're doing it. Where they're going, what they're I, saying. Yeah. I just stop watching them altogether. Right. And they might have had a great one, but I didn't, you know, I didn't well, subscribe. that's the shorter attention span yeah. that we've run into these days. So, yeah, you want to make sure that you are succinct and you're getting to the point. So, um, We don't have shorter attention spans. I'm sorry. I, I, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> We just have more choices. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. So <laughs> we, we're more decisive about where we're going to spend yeah. our time. Yeah, right? I can spend time looking at something else instead of listening to right. you babble. You know. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, one of the things that I see with um, Facebook Live in particular is, you know, people are often using their phone, uh, the front camera on their phone. So any sort of writing or something on their shirts will actually come across reversed, yeah, right? Yeah. And there's a setting that you can hit that will fix that so that you come across properly. Uh, so I would recommend that anybody that... Is that a Facebook? Uh, it, it's a Facebook thing, yeah. I so, didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and there's a setting in the Facebook app where it'll, it'll basically mirror the image and make it come out right if you have writing on your shirt or something. You know, like a lot of people wear shirts with logos on them or something like that and and a lot of times the the, the text is is backwards because it's like looking in the mirror because the way you're holding that that phone with that camera on it yeah you know? that's so great. um you know there's a setting in in there and uh i'll see if i can't hunt that down and maybe put it in the description of how to how to use it um and you can do that and it will flip the text around so that it shows up properly um and that's one thing that just, just really bothers me um when doing Facebook live is seeing that backwards. Cause it's just like, cause guys. you know, it's possible to fix it. Right. You know? So, um, don't want to feel like I'm looking in a mirror all the time and seeing the wrong person, you know? So. Yeah. You spend <laughs> enough time in the mirror. <laughs> I don't know how to take that. Doug. <laughs> what are some other things that you might add about Facebook live, Doug? Well, I think you and I have done a really good job every time, every podcast on, on really telling the real estate agents to tell people what to do next. Right. And so that's the thing is if you're showing an open, if you're doing an open house, make sure you tell everybody the street address and the date and time and, and everything else and where to go. Right. What, whether it's a link or whether to follow you on Facebook and find it or, or whatever you can direct people to, to do next, mm -hmm. always make sure that you're telling them to do that. And then, so it's a lot like other marketing. You still have all is. the same marketing elements to it, right? You still need to put that call to action in there. You still need to have a clear and concise message. Um, you yeah. want to make sure that you're, uh, you know, not doing any more than necessary to get that message across and just, or distract from other things. Right. Yep. And then the, uh, the last thing I'll just throw out is kind of maybe a, a warning cause we've gotten burned a couple of times by Facebook and that's okay. that, you know, as businesses we've built out pages and built crowds and, and everything else. And then all of a sudden Facebook pulled the rug out from under us and started to make us pay you know, to get our content seen. Right, right. My 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 warning is just that is, you know, hey, well this is free, it's great, but remember, mm -hmm. it may not always be here. At one point or another there might be so much video content that Facebook is going to start, you know, charging. Right. Um I saw a recent change that they're gonna do is they are gonna let you uh, do video across multiple pages and personal. I saw that as well. You know? yep. And so I just feel like what they're doing is that's piling up the videos as well. Yep. yep. And so once there's a ton of video content, mm -hmm. think about, you know, think about Facebook is basically going to become a channel like YouTube, you know, where you're right. going to have things to subscribe to. I can see over time that the good shows, they're going to start separating the audience from the person unless they start paying. Hmm. So, you know, and I think that goes back to a basic tenant that you've talked about all along, which is, you know, make sure you own the audience instead yeah. of somebody else. And, you know, when you're using Facebook, unless you're driving people back to your website and they're subscribing to your blog uh, or your your Facebook, your, your whatever you're doing, yeah. your podcast, that sort of thing, then Facebook ends up owning the channel. Yeah. Right? And I, I think now is the time to hit it. Right. right. Go, go use Facebook live, test it out. 
try it, but keep trying to push those people back to subscribe to your email list or your text club or whatever. Right, get, them, right. get them in. Right, exactly. So, um, so okay, cool. So three things to take away when doing Facebook Live, and I guess they could actually apply to YouTube uh, Live, which they don't call it live. They call it something else. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head here. But one would be um, make sure that you're prepared to do the live session. Yeah. Um, and then my little one was make sure you flip that text around so on your shirt. And then make sure you own the audience. You know, yeah. so great. Um, Good tips. Yeah. Any final thoughts? Uh, no, you know, again, make sure you're not in a closet where there's a lot of echoes and everything else. You always want good audio, even right. with video. Right. So, uh, I, you know, I think we've talked, we've had a couple of podcasts on audio, but like a good, you can get a good cheap lavalier mic for your phone even exactly for 10 bucks. Uh, I it think depends on, on what you want. I've got, I got one that was, it was 50 bucks or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, which was, you know, it, it works great. So yeah. I'm not complaining about it, you know? So I think at the high end you could spend 50, 60 bucks and, yeah. and come away with a really great, uh, microphone. So, yep. all right, cool. Well, thanks for listening. If you like what you hear, make sure to subscribe, like us, that sort of thing. If you have any questions, want to learn more, you can check us out at agentsauce.com or contact us at info at agentsauce.com. Thanks and have a great day.